Hey everyone, it is Francesco here. Welcome to November Favourites. So if you're brand new to the Favourites series, this is a series of videos all about favourites that I've thoroughly enjoyed in the month. Things that I think that you guys will enjoy covering the productivity space, books, tech, podcasts, apps, resources, and pretty much products, everything. So November itself was actually a very useful month. Obviously I'm posting this in the start of December, but the November was actually very progressive. We launched a lot of very useful videos, a lot of roundups as well. Uh, lots of top 10, the best 10 applications. So hopefully those will suit you in the new year for helping you choose those right applications. I know there's a big influx in productivity at the start of the new year as people start to switch on after the Christmas break. So in terms of some updates, uh, I have had a Skillshare class launch this month and I've had some amazing support. I'm not going to push it in this video too much. The class was uh, all about finding your perfect to-do list application. I've had some amazing feedback so far and pretty much almost well, over 100 students, almost 150 students now join the class and it's been really amazing. It's been featured on Skillshare so far. So that's been my really exciting one. And December is the month that I launched the Go Skills one, which is like four times the length of that, which will be awesome. So I'm really excited for that. And I really like it because I think what I'm doing now, obviously this channel is very beneficial for regular content coming out, but I feel like formalizing the class inside of like Skillshare's and Go Skills helps to for you to go through a process and obviously those platforms are very beneficial. So the only other update is that I've moved the desk over to the bottom right hand corner of this room. It used to be over where now the Christmas tree is. Uh, that's a bit of a change but it's quite nice to move the desk sometimes to move it around uh, and uh, not really much has changed in terms of desk setup but it's just a beneficial thing to have in the corner. Now in terms of things I haven't actually picked up that many products this month. Uh, I was tempted in the Black Friday sales to go for a uh, Alexa unit but the Echo Dot uh, or the Google Home Mini. So I was quite excited for that, but I actually didn't commit to it. And the two other updates that I've had is, obviously we are launch we've launched a Keep Productive Medium publication now. So you guys can go away and read pieces that are very useful, and they're gonna be full of videos as well, so you can go through them in a useful video guide. And also we have an updated newsletter. Slowly we've tweaked it out, and now on number 13 and 14, 14 will be December, we've had a sort of new design that just makes it a lot easier to read and a lot easier to follow. So hopefully you're signed up to new newsletter, but go away in the description and find that one because we round up all of the beautiful apps and videos that we cover in the month. So in terms of apps to start off with, I know you guys have been wanting this one. Oak Meditation has been probably one of the apps of the month. I've been thoroughly impressed by Oak Meditation. It is an application that is being put together by Kevin Rose, one of Tim Ferriss's friends. I've mentioned Kevin Rose a couple of times here on Favorites, mainly because he has an amazing newsletter called The Journal. It is the best newsletter I've ever read, uh, and it's a thoroughly enjoyable one, so I highly recommend that. I'll include it in the description below. I think I mentioned it in last Favorites, but Oak Meditation is a little baby of his at the moment. Uh, it's been growing, growing, it's been very popular, but I think the method is one of the best ones I've seen out there. Now, I've tried about five meditation apps over the last couple of months, uh, and this one has been the best I've enjoyed so far, so it is definitely highly recommended. I'm going to include the link in the description. So my other discovery was Cloud App. I'm going to do a full Cloud App review over on World, App, World of Apps, but it is amazing. It's probably the best application maybe of the year. It basically allows you to quickly screen cast or screen record or screen uh, shot a page and send it to someone that is struggling visually. So for example, if I quickly want to send you guys an example of something that I'm working on, I quickly film it and then it automatically gets ready as a link. Now it's probably better if I visually show you this and you paste it into a message and they can quickly view it like within seconds. It was something that uh, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago but something that Ash Reed and the likes of Mike from Asian Efficiency showed me accidentally like when they were sending emails and I found it very beneficial. And finally Notion, I'm going to be starting to make a base on Notion. I find Notion a very attractive application and something that I think a lot of people are going to put their attention towards in the future. I feel like it's going to be the app of 2018, but that's an early prediction. So moving on to books, I am now deep into Sapien. And when I say deep, I mean like 
this far, I am really slow at reading, but I'm now reading three pages every morning. And it's actually a really uh, fast paced book. I really like it because what it does is it documents like a brief history of humankind, bringing together what we used to do, our like habits, routines, but mainly the sort of history and the sort of process we've gone through in terms of evolution. It's an amazing book. Highly recommend it. Uh, the author, I can never pronounce, Yuval Noah Hariri. I've got his other book, Homo Deus, which I'm going to read straight after, but very beneficial. I finished Ikigai. It's a book all about longevity. That was a recommendation from Lavender. Fantastic book all about the sort of blue zones of Japan and different other areas. Uh, there's five blue zones in the world there where the oldest people in the world live. Incredible book and it documents how you can find your Ikigai, which is uh, a blend of your career and what you want to do for long purposes. So it's very useful and I highly recommend the read. So on Audible, I have Principles, which I'm about halfway through now, Ray Dalio's Principles. And I'm also got a second one, The Subtle Art of Not Giving A. And I've, I'm gonna read that one almost after in tandem with Sapiens and Homo Deus. Something I have been doing in the mornings is using Medium to pick a read every single morning and get one done. I've been sharing them on Twitter and a lot of people are liking them as well. Uh, a range of resources, but I pick it the night before and then post it in uh, my morning routine and then I basically can just crack on with the read and it's a really short, fast read. But something to get my perspective out there. So like, learning about a different perspective. The next one is a Skillshare class, which I would recommend you go and check out. It's by Wit and Delight. Kate Arends runs it. Uh, it's a very strong course about finding your purpose with content development. And this is actually funny, very beneficial for me at the moment as I grow and expand the Keep Productive YouTube channel. And I'm going to be taking further looks into this. So in terms of podcasts this month, Tim Ferriss has a brand new one called Tribe of Mentors. I've got the book, I'm reading it. It's not really like a read, I would say. It's more of a, you dip in, you read a, a section from a person where he asks these series of questions. Finding it really beneficial so far, uh, a very useful resource. But here's a new podcast called Tribe of Mentals as well, which goes alongside it. And it's sort of like an audio experience to this book, more I would say an accompaniment, and I highly recommend checking out. The reason why I like it is because they're shorter, they're sharper, and they're like less than half an hour long. So you can get through one on a commute to work versus his two three hour long podcasts which take a bit longer. The other podcasts that I'm listening to, another one called uh, Optimal Living Daily. Uh, I find the guy who reads them a little bit uh, sort of monotone, but I can understand because I'm a monotone, I have a monotone voice, uh, but Optimal Living Daily is a really good uh, podcast, daily one, as you can imagine, uh, that reads you a blog post or, uh, or summary from a book in that podcast. It's between five and 10 minutes long each one, but it's really handy if you just want to read a, uh, like a different topic and they post up regular ones as well. So I highly recommend that one. The next one is Cortex. Um, that's by uh, Relay FM. I'm really enjoying that one because they discuss productivity apps, how people work, and I really like the way that they approach it. It's almost like a talk show about that sort of like how we work, which is quite nice. So that's a high recommendation from me. So guys, I hoped that you enjoyed today's feature. I hope November favorites wasn't too boring. I uh, obviously did a late uh, October favorites. So November favorites, it doesn't have too much gems inside of here, but De December favorites, I'm already picking up a lot of useful stuff across this month. So hopefully, that one will be that beneficial. Anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed this feature. Make sure to hit the subscription button and the bell notification for regular videos. Make sure to enjoy some of the other videos that I put out recently, Evernote, uh, Todoist, uh, some of the other ones I put out. I hope that you will go away and enjoy. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.